Look, I don't want to go crazy with this video yet because I just discovered this and I'm testing it, okay? But we're talking about HDR gaming fix, period. Like, last video about HDR, <laughs> okay? We're talking about auto HDR from Windows 11 fixed and native HDR fixed too, with a single click, okay? Take a look at this. This is Cyberpunk, you know, black level race. Look at the graph. We know Cyberpunk is a mess. So I'm not using any reshade to fix it right now. Just the Lilium's HDR analysis tool. And now take a look at this. I'm going to go to the color profile, which I downloaded. I'm going to show you how to download this. Just one click to this color profile that works for HDR. And this is Cyberpunk native HDR. Look. <laughs> It is not fixed because we still have black level rays, okay? But what is fixed is the gamma, okay? The gamma, it looks too bright near black, okay? And that happens with a lot of HDR games. We're talking about native HDR, but also auto HDR is affected on the same way, okay? So let me test this more, okay? in more games, try to understand what's going on. And I will make a video with a better understanding, trying to explain you what's going on. For now, <clears throat> let me share with you, this looks amazing. <laughs> we just need to fix this a small black level race. What I would use is, I, do, I would use this Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix Shader. And instead of enabling uh, SDR black floor emulation, I would enable black floor lowering, okay? So I do not affect the gamma too much. I can enable this black floor lowering and just reduce that black level rate so it is perfect. So now don't copy this number. This, this is the number I was using to fix it before this um, update. And yeah, this is just the number I was playing around with. This just This is not... Uh, correct, don't copy this because it's not going to work well. But what I would do with this fix is just enable this black floor lowering and just type in a number here to crush what we have raised. That's it. But the contrast of the image is fixed because of the gamma. Again, this is after. I'm going to change the profile. Just one click. This is the HDR calibration app profile. Okay, look. See, it's messed up. It looks too bright near black. So now, what is going on? I'm still trying to figure it out, but I'm going to share with you the link uh, to download this mod. So, you know, just a brief explanation. Basically, Windows created you know, sRGB, and the problem is we have sRGB on Windows and Windows want to force that crap over, over everything. And the problem is most of the games and everything on Windows really is Gamma 2.2. Okay, not sRGB. And that why that's why everything looks messed up. Every single game. It is so weird that oh, all developers are just like wrong and they are making the games look washed out for no reason. That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would they do that? There's clearly an issue here, okay? So now, again, I have to understand this more. Um, I'm probably gonna have to, you know, speak with gaming tech and see why, you know, if there's a problem with Windows, why the games are washed out on the consoles too. <laughs> Maybe on the Xbox, but why are they washed out on the PS5 too? So that, to understand the whole problem is going to take more, <laughs> more study and more deep uh, thinking. But for now, sRGB. So if you have the content in Gamma 2.2, but Windows is forcing sRGB, everything is going to look too bright near black. And that's why I was recommending to use the fine tune dark areas option on this LG OLEDs because with the fine tune dark areas option, you are reducing the gamma near black. So you're basically fixing this issue from zero to 30% signal level or stimulus. You're fixing this issue, look, 0 0.3, <laughs> okay? 
So, but the rest is about the same, okay? That's what happens. So that's why Auto HDR on Windows 11 looks too bright near black. And I was recommending use fine tune dark areas minus 16. So now this is also working for native HDR. And my understanding before this was that games are not color managed applications and they don't care about this color profile, except Auto HDR supported games. This is the color profile created by the HDR calibration app and some native HDR games. So I don't understand how I have native HDR on Cyberpunk 2077 and I am using this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just changing this and it's working for native HDR. It's working for PQ, SCRGB HDR and for Auto HDR from Windows 11 is working for everything. Okay, even if when you open the game without having Auto HDR on Windows 11, just by opening, you have HDR on Windows, you open the game like that. It, it is also affecting that. Okay, so it's affecting everything. And yeah, I need to study this more, test it in more games, you know, figure it out better uh, to do a more comprehensive uh, video. But you know how I do in the channel. I learned something new. I just want to throw it out there. Test it yourself. Let me know. If you know better, share your thoughts and opinions. Actually, this is a consequence. I have to give the shout out to Mara, Mara TX TV. He told me, hey, did you have, did you take a look at Windows 11 HDR sRGB 2 Gamma 2.2? mod it fixes windows 11 auto hdr makes it go from srgb to gamma 2.2 and i think somebody else told me about it so i am all ears okay we're this community we're trying to figure this out <laughs> okay and i think that we are very very close very very close so download this link in the description of the video so now i have to understand why i know this needs value so they have you know, 100 nits, 200 nits, 300 nits, 400 nits. So what is this? Brightness, 5, 30, 55, 80. This is the SDR, HDR slider on Windows 11. That's what it is. Okay. So let's say you're going to open the game without auto HDR or a game that doesn't support auto HDR. It doesn't support, doesn't support uh, HDR, like native HDR. And you just open it. And then you set the slider, the SDR HDR slider to 400. Then you, you would download this profile and use it. I have to test that more. Um, but that's the idea. I don't understand why different calibrations, depending on the, on the percentage of the slider that you're using, 5, 30%, 55, 80. I don't know why we don't have here a 100% uh, calibration, which is the one that I would like to use. Uh, so yeah, 100% is 480 needs 498 uh, as I shared before. So yeah, this is all you have to do. Download one of these profiles and then let me let me show you this too. So you have to go to color management. You have to go to color management. And then let me show you. So this uh, profile that you download is going to be named something like this, SDR, ACM, SCRGB, D50, you know, SRGB to Gamma 2.2 calibration. That's the name of the profile. So what you have to do here when you open this color management is you have to click on add and then you search for it. So you browse for that you know, download, okay? You select it. And very important, once you select that, you have to click here where it says add as advanced color profile. You have to click here, add as advanced color profile. And then you click OK. And that's it. And you have to then click set as default profile. So now the reason why you have to add it as advanced uh, profile is because advanced will be for HDR. So it's gonna work for auto HDR and now even for native HDRs from, from what I can see here. And then you select this and you click 
uh, you know, set as default profile and you're done. You close this and it's done. And then after that, you have to come here to the display settings and you have to select it. You have to come here to where it says color profile. Click here. So this is the HDR calibration app profile. You have to click on this one, the one that you selected. Boom. And that, that's how you see the difference. You see? You will see the difference. You see? This is after. This is with the profile. And this is with the HDR calibration app profile. Okay? So now to show you that this is actually native HDR, look. HDR 10 PQ. Okay? This is not auto HDR. HDR 10 PQ. Look. See? Now, if you change it to SCRGB, it also works. It works for everything. Change it to SCRGB. We'll see the difference here. Look at the difference here. Let's go before and after with that. Let's go to this one. You see? The difference is there on SE, SCRGB, and even if you turn off HDR, but if you turn off the HDR on the game, it doesn't look the same. Let's turn off the HDR on the game. And then I would need to use the slider. I would need to use the SDR, HDR slider. Let me, let me do that. Come here and, and and now this slider works, okay? So we're gonna select select 80 because that's what I selected. That's the profile that I downloaded. I downloaded this 400 nits brightness 80 profile. So now I select that 80 profile and we'll see the difference with this. Opening the game on SDR, so no HDR on the game. It looks okay too. It doesn't look the same and the HDR analysis tool doesn't work. But let's see a before and after. So this is with the fix. Let's go and turn the HDR calibrated profile. So the calibration from the app, you see it looks more washed out. So it is also, it's, it's affecting everything. It's, it's affecting absolutely everything. You can see the difference here before. after you see the difference is, is clear so let me test this in more games let me try to figure out what's going on but i think this is it <laughs> this is the solution if it's affecting auto hdr native hdr it is not fixing the black level race again we have to the game still has black level race we can see it on the hdr analysis tool but it is fixing the contrast of the game so now, keep in mind that if you do this for a good native HDR game, you're going to mess it up. Like Armor Core, maybe you will mess it up. Maybe not, because this front software engine takes over. Like, it's like, like a, a, it just takes over. You feel like even if you have SDR on Windows, you don't even have HDR on, you can still turn on HDR on the game in Elden Ring. An armor core so maybe this is not going to affect that game but if you have a game that looks perfect then this is gonna crush okay this, this is gonna crush it's gonna look incorrect uh, but here on the um, on the website they so here where do you download this thing let me lower the brightness so you can see this um, here on the on their website they put it as an example Diablo Diablo 4 and they are and they are putting as an example on HDR, okay? The Diablo 4 in HDR, sRGB tone curve, and they, they compare that with the with the Gamma 2.2 tone curve, and it looks better with the Gamma 2.2, even on SDR, so they, they also uh, mention that. So, yeah, I have to explore this more, try to see if there is, if there are more calibrations like this, to see which one is the best, tested in more games and man this is crazy that something like this happens I mean how long we've been struggling <laughs> with HDR and it's just Windows messing everything up so now again the question is 
why are the consoles also affected, especially the PS5, because the Xbox is just Microsoft, it's going to be the same mess, but the PS5 doesn't have anything to do with this. So if you have a PS5 game that looks washed out, then, you know, why is that happening? And this is not going to fix the black level race, so we, we still have black level race to fix, but at least the contrast of the game... Um, it just doesn't look that bright near black. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions. Again, I don't want to go crazy with this video because I don't have like a more comprehensive explanation. I don't want to say, oh, share this video so everyone sees it. <laughs> of course, you know, the more people see this video, the better. But this is not the video yet, okay? <laughs> Once I figure this out, I'm just going to go absolutely nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy because this is like HDR gaming fix period. <laughs> I'm just gonna start making videos about something else. Okay? Yeah, we fix HDR gaming with time to move on. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions, also I'm testing a special K. I will also cover that. I'm testing it right now. So that that will come for sure. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, if you have anything to add, any input would be much appreciated. And thank you to those of you who told me about this. I don't remember if there was more people, but for sure, Marata, Marata TX TV, he told me. So thank you. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions.